This summer I went on a two week long vacation with my family close to Cambridge, England. We were staying in a beautiful home with a big garden, watching another family's pets while they were away on vacation. We had such a lovely time all together, enjoying the scenery, spectacular sunsets and our new pet friends, of course. Before we left home to go to England, I decided that I wanted to try painting outside the comfort of my studio for the first time. To take it even further, I wanted to go paint outside in nature with pigments I would hopefully find locally. This is what I took with me to paint. A mortar and pestle, a mixing bowl, a few brushes, a zipper bag to collect pigments in, a bottle of gum arabic binder, and of course pieces of cotton canvas. What I really enjoyed while being in England were the fantastic landscape views, especially during the sunsets as well as all the beautiful summer flowers. After bringing our boys to bed in the evening, I would quickly leave the house with my camera to capture the beauty we were surrounded by. It was magical to see the scenery change in front of me within minutes, sometimes even just seconds. During the sunset, the light and the color palette that surrounds us changes so quickly, from really soft and dreamy to suddenly the most vivid, bright and golden I have ever seen to soothing dark and muted tones. It was really special to be able to take this all in so consciously. The beauty and serenity of it made me tear up multiple times and it really did something to my painter's heart. So one day I went out for a hike to look for local pigments that I could paint with that day. I was walking for quite a while, unsuccessful in finding a good source of pigment. I was already on my way back, thinking of some pieces of brick that I've seen on a sand path close to our house that I could use. What was also very close to the house was this beautiful little field of wildflowers that I wanted to film. And when I got down close to the flowers, I suddenly saw that what I was looking for had been so close to the home all the time. The pigment was lying right there in the flower field beneath my feet. Back in the garden, I was preparing to turn the rocks into pigment powder. Unfortunately, it suddenly started to rain, so we continued inside.
I ended up with a soft brown and a soft yellow ochre pigment to paint with. The sun came out again, so I was able to paint in the garden. Because the pigments, as well as the binder, are completely natural, it is possible to let excess paint flow right into the earth again, without any harm. to see where these first layers will take me in the end, but for now I'm just really grateful for this experience. Mm -hmm.